Okay, so well done getting this far. You've uh, learned a bit about exponent rules, and now I think naturally the next topic to learn about is scientific notation. We talked a bit about a bit about this at the start of like if you Google um, the size, or sorry, the mass of the Earth, you're going to get a number that's really, really, really large, and it's much nicer to write scientific notation instead of writing out a really large number with a bunch of zeros or whatever. Uh, you will encounter this in science class sometimes, especially as you get into uh, later high school years. And uh, we also use it to write down really, really, really small numbers. Uh, and it's a nice, easy way of writing large or small numbers. Easier in the sense that you don't have to write down all of the zeros. Um, it shrinks down large numbers into a more manageable chunk. And I'm going to talk a bit about how that looks uh, right now. So for scientific notation, there's some rules that we have to follow. This is always the format that we stick to, okay? And um, this you could imagine, it's maybe better to imagine it as like a blank box, right? And in this box, you're gonna put a number, okay? It can be any number, but it must be between one and 10, not including 10. So we can only use numbers between one and 10. So uh, like 1.3 or 6.7 or 5.42613, whatever. You can choose, uh, not choose, you're going to use uh, some strategies to decide what number goes here. But the rule for this section is that this number must be between 1 and 10. Then we always write times 10 and then to the power of something, okay? The power is related to the number that you're, you're given in uh, the question. And we're going to talk about that again. But these are the basic rules for scientific notation. Uh, this cannot be a decimal. It has to be a whole number. And it could be negative also, which we're going to talk about. So positive or negative number here. It cannot be a decimal. This one could be a decimal. And it's going to be a number between 1 and 10. It has to be. Okay? And then we always write times 10 to the power of something. Okay? And you might see this... Um, you, you might have seen this in your calculator before. If you type this in on your calculator, uh, 3,456,000 multiplied by 12 billion, you're going to get uh, this. Okay, so I just did this on my phone. Um, I get 4.1472000E times 10 to the, oh, sorry, E and then plus 16. What this means is that this this answer 3,456,000 um, times 12 billion is 4.1472 times 10. I kind of gave it away there when I was talking. Times 10 to the power of 16. So this number is in scientific notation because it's too big for your calculator to handle, um, it's it's got 16, uh, well, 10 to the power of 16 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, 16 times. So it's a huge, huge number. Um, and if you look at the way that they've written it, this number is between 1 and 10, 4.14. That's right, almost halfway, right? 4.1472 times 10 to the power of some number. And in this case, it's positive 16. Um, and they've showed that there on the calculator like that. Okay, so that's a, just a bit of an introduction and in the rules of scientific notation and how you write it. Next, we're going to learn how to change between regular numbers and scientific notation. Thanks for listening.